Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I am going to do a Gemini Love Prediction reading for July 4th through July 10th. Please keep in mind, this is a general reading. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know that this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space. Keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I will be most humbled or honored if you give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you decide to do that. Let's see what's going on with my lovable, eccentric, kind, loyal, sweet. Gemini's as you both as anyone that listens to my channel knows I have a family full of Gemini's that I absolutely adore love you fam let's see what's going on with my lovable sweet kind eccentric loyal Gemini's show me spirit guys what's going on with my fun lo lovable Gemini's show me spirit guys what you got going on Jimmy's let's see what you got going on knight of cups Six of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, the Tower, and the Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. Well, you got the Nine of Cups leading your reading. You know that on Nine of Cups. You know I. I have you have to watch out for the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups can be very smooth with their tongue. They know how to talk very, very well. They know how to say what the other person wants to hear. They can be charming. They can be very, very um, inviting. Um, people want to be around them. Um, they like to try to show that they have compassion. They're trustworthy. They're um, they like to show those traits, but you have to be careful. Because with this, I see with the Knight of Cups, this has the Knight of Cups and the Six of Pentacles next to him. So, someone thinks that they're winning. Someone thinks that they're winning and also not winning, but they think that this relationship that they're in is going very well. Because they're saying all the right things. They're saying all the right things. And they think that the other person is, is uh, picking up on it and, and listening to what they're saying. But look in the middle of this reading, you have the Seven of Cups. Because you were saying all the right things. You thought this particular relationship was going very well. Very generous, very kind, very giving, give and take. But you got the Seven of Cups in the middle of the reading. Now, I'm going to tell you what I think, Gemini. I think whomever I'm reading for, I do not know. But I think that with the Seven of Cups being there, someone or you... I don't know, has had a lot of different options. You thought you were the only one, but you weren't. You thought you were the only option, but you clearly weren't. Because the Seven of Cups is all about confusion. Um, it's all about different options. Someone had different options. And I think you found out about it. I do. Because here, the Seven of Cups is in the middle of the reading. That's different options, confusion, a lot of mayhem, a lot of mess going on. But here, this is a sudden breakup with the tower here. I think you found out about it. I think you were broke. And I think that you suddenly broke up with someone. I don't know if you're correct, but I think you think you're correct because you broke it off with someone. And here is the Nine of Pentacles. And that Nine of Pentacles is all about being single. This is someone that's single. I don't know if it's you or them, but either way it goes, this is someone that has their own thoughts, their own mind process. They're living a single life and they're, uh, they're out there doing their thing. But, but what's interesting is the tower is in front of this single card. I don't think you expected to be single or they expected to be single. But I do believe that they believed something. Don't know if it's truth yet or not. I'm going to keep reading to try to find out. I think that you or they, and I'm going to say it's you, believe that they had a lot of different options. Or believe that you weren't the only option. Maybe you saw something. Maybe they didn't act like you thought they were supposed to act. And you, it, it put you on alert. Um, but... You broke up with them suddenly, and now you're single. Now, single with, with the Nine of Pentacles is normally happily single, but I don't think you're happily single. I really don't. And I'm not quite sure that what you thought is the truth. Because the Knight of Cups here, like I said, you were singing a song. 
you were telling them everything they wanted to hear, and you thought, you know, that you heard everything, that they heard everything, that it was a very give-and-take relationship, which it was. You were very charming to them, but there's a seven of cups in the middle, and I think that confusion comes with you. I don't necessarily think it comes with them. I think it's you, your belief system, what you think. I think you think they're cheating on you, or you think that they have other options besides you. And I think to keep you from getting hurt, you broke up with them. You broke up with them. It was a sudden breakup, too. And now you're by yourself, but you're not, you're not a happily single person right now. So let's see. If this is your read, please sit back, relax, because I surely want to know, Gemini, what's going to happen. What is going to happen? Why are you single all of a sudden, and you're not happy about that singleship? You're not happy about that, happy about it at all. So I want to know why you're gonna why you're single. So if this is your read, please sit back. Let me clarify the reading. Give me three to five minutes, and I'm gonna clarify the reading. See what the spirit guys have to tell you. Why is this Knight of Cups here? Why is the Knight of Cups here for my Gemini's? Show me, spirit guys. Why is the Knight of Cups here for my Gemini's? Oh, you got the Nine of Pentacles again. Whenever the spirit guides give you two of the same cards within a, within a reading, it tells you that I'm reading for someone exactly what you need to know. Nine of Pentacles here and a Nine of Pentacles here. And a Nine of Pentacles is over this Knight of Cups because, like I said, you thought everything was good. And, it, and I think, believe it was good. I think they were. You were being charming, all of the above. But something came in or got into this relationship or got into your head. We're going to keep reading for you to change so let's see why this nine, excuse me, why the six of pentacles is here. Let's show me why the six of pentacles is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the six of pentacles here? Oh, you've got the six of cups. Oh, boy. You've got the six of cups. So the six of cups is all about a um, reunion. It's about getting back with someone, someone that you enjoyed You've had good times with. You had good times with it. This is about somebody coming back and enjoying. And here's the Six of Pentacles here. And it's over the Six of Pentacles, which means that was a very generous and kind relationship. This relationship was very generous, very give and take, very kind. But let's see why the Seven of Cups is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Seven of Cups here? You know, the Six of Cups is also about your past. It's also about your past. So let's see what has happened in the past. And I think, I'm going to tell you what I think. I'm going to keep reading, but I'm going to tell you. It's about the past. You have not let go of the past from someone. You have not let go of the past. You are still stuck in the past with something. So let's see why this Seven of Cups is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Ah, uh, you've got the Two of Swords. It's a stalemate. Yeah, I'm going to tell you what I see here. The Six of Cups is about the past, too. This is someone that's in your past. Someone in your past that um, you thought you were saying the right things, doing the right things. And someone in your past, um, there was a very give and take, a very generous and kind relationship. But yet, something happened with this Seven of Cups. You thought you were the only one, but there were different options. They had different options and you didn't know that. Um, and I, I think at first I thought it was perhaps in your head, but I don't think it was in your head. This is someone that did something to you in the past, but you got to let it go to move forward. Because the Seven of Cups is options, it's confusion. And the Two of Swords is there. The Two of Swords, which is a stalemate. You have a stalemate. And that stalemate to me means you're afraid to move forward. You are afraid or you're stuck. There's a stalemate. There's You are afraid to move forward. Your mind... Because swords energy is all about mind. So you have swords energy. You have, um, it's, it's, when I say swords energy, it's energy to deal with someone from the past. You have not released someone in the past. You're like stuck in this energy. You're stuck in this energy from someone in the past. Someone that did something to you in the past. You're stuck in this energy. Let's see why the tower card is here. Show me spirit guys. Well, Seven of Swords. Someone betrayed you. Someone cheated on you. And it hurt you deeply. I'm telling you. Everybody's not the same though. But that's what happened. That's why this breakup was here. There was a sudden breakup. It was a, a breakup that was. I mean it, it took you uh, It took you by surprise. Uh, because you, you didn't believe that they were like that. You thought that everything was going great. But the Seven of Swords means there was infidelity. 
And let's see why this Nine of Pentacles is here. Again, show me. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Oh, because you have the Judgment card. The Judgment card. <sighs> the Judgment card is all about awareness. It's about awareness, but it also can be a reunion card. It can be a reunion card, but here, because here's the problem. This is about you in the past. This is about you not letting go. But the Nine of Pentacles, you're, you're single by yourself here by choice because there is someone with this judgment card here. There is someone that you really want to be with, but you can't be with them because you're stuck in the past. Someone has hurt you in the past and you cannot release it to be with this person. Let's start at the beginning. Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups, like I said, is slick. It's smooth, smooth tongue. But it shows you their compassion. shows you what they can bring to the table. shows you how they can love on you. All of the above. And you showed someone that. And here you have the Nine of Pentacles. What happened? All of a sudden, uh, over this Knight of Cups, you became single. Then you have the, se the Six of, of Pentacles here. And the Six of Pentacles is all about this relationship that you had in the past. Because here's the Six of Cups. The Six of, of the, the relationship that you had in the past, it was a very kind relationship. A very uh, give and take relationship. At least so you thought. But here's this confusion with the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is you You found out they have other options. And that's what blew your mind. You found out that you were confused. How could this be? Because I've done everything that I was supposed to do. I was kind. I was giving. I was compassionate. I was loving. I was there. I didn't cheat. I didn't do anything. I loved them. And here's the Two of Swords because you're stuck in that energy, though, of what has happened. You're stuck in this energy with this Seven of Cups. This confused energy, this option energy that someone gave you. You have not released this energy. They are still around you with this energy. And then you had a sudden breakup with the tower here. And that means suddenly you broke up. And then you have the seven of swords, which means it was infidelity. There was, they were cheating on you, really hurt you. I mean, beyond belief, because here is this nine of pentacles. You'll do anything to stay by yourself. You're not happy by yourself, but you'll do anything to stay by yourself simply because you're insecure and you're afraid. Because this judgment card here tells me that you have awareness and you want to be very badly with someone else. But you can't do it because you're stuck in that energy of betrayal. So let's see here. You're insecure and you're stuck with it. Too bad. Let's see. What do my what does my angel oracles have to say? My African queens have to say. Well, Queen Yah Asentuwa. And I know, you know, I can't say the names correctly. I love my African queens. But they say level up. And I think all, all she's saying is level up. Get over it. You're not the only one that's been hurt. Get over it. If there's love there for you, you're going to lose it because you're stuck. Or you've already lost it because you're stuck in an old energy. You're stuck in the past. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Gemini.